Hello there and welcome to my sixth um, 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make terrain. And because it's a very complicated thing, I'm going to... Um, I've already made all the code for you, so all you have to do is merge it with your game. So, the code that I've given you is all of this. Lots and lots and lots of code. Like that, yeah. Lots and lots of code. Now, I didn't actually make all this. I just put this all together for you. And also, this is the terrain. Right there. That little square. Yeah. That's the terrain. That's what it's getting it all off of. Kind of amazing, eh? Anyway. So now, all you have to do is go into your game. And you have to click File. And then Merge Game. And then you have to go and find my game, or like the terrain thing. And then, once you found that, then you just click on it, click open, and then and now it's merged with it. Now, to make it easy, all you have to do is go into the terrain file, which, and click terrain. Stick that right there in the corner of the screen. And there you go. Now the train will be there. But now you want your character to go up and down with it. So you go into your character. Now I've also put a little OBJ guy here. And all he's going to do is give you this little bit of code. So it's just setting your Z. So Z terrain gets Z, which is a script that gets the Z height. X, Y, minus 5. And then also Z level, which is your camera. Same except for minus 5 plus minus 15. That'll make it a little higher. There you go. So all you have to do is copy that, go to player, and stick it in step. There you go. Oh, and also in terrain, you're going to want to set the floor to whatever background you want. So in my case, the background is called floor. And also, for object player, he doesn't have to draw the floor. So here, D3D draw floor, you don't need to do that. So I'm just going to delete that. Now when you play it, it should work. Now, since it's loading it off of a picture, it should go pretty fast. So, there you go. So now it looks the same as before, right? Ah, but it isn't. If you go a little bit further, you'll notice that there's train. Lots of train. And now when I'm going up to it, I go up with it. So now I'm heading up the train. As you can see there, it's a hill. And I'm going up it. Very handy for walking around in mountains and stuff. So there we go. I'm now on top of a mountain. And there's lots of other mountains below that. Because in the little picture that I showed you, if it's light, then it's high. So the lighter the pixels are, then the higher it draws it here. And so then, at the darkest point, it's really low. So the picture that I showed you was a basically a little ring. And so it created a whole humongous ring. Now you'll notice that when my camera goes below the terrain then the terrain disappears that way you're not just seeing a wall of grass which is really 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 annoying so this is a really handy little feat here so now you're going down now I'm now in the center of this really cool terrain thing so of course this is all for download both the terrain and this game which I'm gonna give to you here so to make those terrain height maps, which is this little picture here, which is a very handy little thing. So as you can see, once again, that's that little ring, which is very needy. Now, to, you, to, to do that, you're going to need a program called Liquid Light. I really like this program. I did not make this, but it was made by, by a game maker, so I'm going to give you a link to this program as well. This is the program. What it does is it makes height maps. 
So you click your little setting here, and then you just click, and the ground moves up. Very cool. So then you go around just making it look whatever you want. And then you have to go into File, Export, Height Map Image. Once you do that, then all you have to do is name it and put it wherever you want. And then I'll save it as a little picture. Then you have to load it into your game. And there you go. Just as a sprite. Very easy. But then you also have to get the name of it. So you have to make sure that you do that too. So yeah, that's about all there is to know about this tutorial. <sighs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, see you next time.